Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Welcome to an in-depth exploration of Green Hydrogen GH2, production, a cornerstone of the renewable energy transition. This analysis delves into the engineering and technical intricacies of recent green hydrogen projects globally. These projects illustrate the integration of cutting-edge renewable energy technologies, water management strategies, and engineering solutions, all pivotal in advancing the green hydrogen economy. The production of green hydrogen represents a significant leap forward in the quest for sustainable energy solutions. At its core, green hydrogen production involves the electrolysis of water, a process that splits water into hydrogen and oxygen using electricity generated from renewable sources like solar, wind, or hydropower. This method ensures that the hydrogen produced is free from carbon emissions, making it a clean and versatile energy carrier. However, the production process is not without its challenges. One of the most critical aspects is the efficient management of water resources. Water, while abundant, is not uniformly available in all regions, and its overuse or mismanagement can lead to significant environmental impacts. This is where innovative water management strategies, including desalination and wastewater treatment, come into play, ensuring that green hydrogen production is not only sustainable in terms of energy but also in terms of water usage. Moreover, the integration of renewable energy technologies in green hydrogen production presents unique engineering challenges and opportunities. From optimizing electrolyzer technologies to integrating energy storage systems, these projects require a delicate balance of various technical components. They must be efficiently designed to handle the intermittent nature of renewable energy sources while ensuring the maximum production of hydrogen. This analysis will explore these aspects in detail, examining how recent advancements in technology and engineering are helping to overcome the challenges associated with green hydrogen production. We will look at global projects that are leading the way in this field, showcasing the practical application of these technologies and the potential they hold for a more sustainable energy future. Join us as we delve into the world of green hydrogen, exploring how this promising technology is set to play a key role in the renewable energy landscape, driving us towards a cleaner, more sustainable future. Desalination Technologies in Green Hydrogen Production In the realm of green hydrogen production, the implementation of desalination technologies is a game-changer, particularly for regions grappling with water scarcity. This section explores the prominent desalination methods, their advancements, and the integration with renewable energy sources, crucial for sustainable hydrogen production. Reverse Osmosis, Rho Reverse Osmosis, Rho, is a leading technology in desalination, pivotal for transforming seawater into freshwater suitable for electrolysis and green hydrogen production. Rho works by passing water through a semi-permeable membrane, effectively filtering out salts and other impurities. Energy efficiency advances, traditional Rho systems have been criticized for their high energy consumption. However, recent technological improvements have significantly enhanced their energy efficiency. Innovations like energy recovery devices and low-energy membranes are now being integrated into row systems, reducing the overall energy requirement. Sustainability considerations The sustainability of row is further augmented by powering these systems with renewable energy sources, such as solar or wind power, aligning the desalination process with the green ethos of hydrogen production. Thermal desalination Thermal desalination uses heat to evaporate water, leaving behind salts and impurities, and then condenses the vapor to produce fresh water. This method is particularly efficient when integrated with hydrogen production processes. Integration with electrolysis The integration of thermal desalination with electrolysis offers a synergistic solution. Waste heat generated during the hydrogen production process can be utilized in thermal desalination, enhancing overall energy efficiency. Case studies, an example of this is the integration of solar-powered thermal desalination systems in hydrogen projects. These setups utilize solar thermal energy, not only to generate electricity for electrolysis but also to provide the heat required for desalination. Renewable energy integration. The integration of renewable energy sources in powering desalination plants is a critical step towards making the hydrogen production process more sustainable and cost-effective. Solar and wind energy utilization, 
solar panels and wind turbines can be employed to provide the energy required for both row and thermal desalination processes. This not only reduces the carbon footprint of the hydrogen production process but also ensures a more consistent and reliable water supply, especially in remote or arid regions. Cost effectiveness, while the initial investment in renewable energy infrastructure may be high, the long-term benefits include reduced operational costs and a sustainable source of energy that aligns with global environmental goals. In conclusion, the integration of desalination technologies in green hydrogen production is a critical step towards addressing water scarcity issues. By harnessing the power of renewable energy sources and advancing desalination technologies, the hydrogen industry is moving towards a more sustainable and efficient future, mitigating one of the key environmental challenges of our time. Wastewater treatment and reuse in hydrogen production. The utilization of treated wastewater in hydrogen production presents a sustainable and innovative solution to the challenge of water scarcity. This section explores how wastewater treatment can be adapted for hydrogen production, the technologies involved, and real-world applications demonstrating the feasibility of this approach. Treatment Technologies Wastewater treatment for hydrogen production involves several advanced technologies to ensure the water meets the stringent quality requirements for electrolysis. These technologies include Ultrafiltration and reverse osmosis, these processes are crucial for removing contaminants and microorganisms from wastewater, making it suitable for electrolysis. Advanced oxidation processes, OPS, OPS are used for the further breakdown of organic compounds, ensuring the water is sufficiently pure for hydrogen production. Electrodionization, this technique combines electrically active media with ion exchange resin to remove ions from water, an essential step in preparing wastewater for the electrolysis process. Each of these technologies plays a vital role in purifying wastewater to the extent that it can be used in hydrogen production, addressing one of the significant hurdles in sustainable hydrogen production. Integration with hydrogen production facilities. Integrating wastewater treatment directly into hydrogen production facilities offers several advantages. Creating a self-sustaining system. By treating and reusing wastewater on-site, hydrogen production facilities can significantly reduce their water footprint, contributing to a more circular approach to water use. Reducing operational costs, on-site treatment reduces the need for transporting large quantities of water, which can be both logistically challenging and costly. This integration not only makes the process more sustainable but also more economically viable in the long term. In exploring the use of wastewater treatment in green hydrogen production, several sustainable and low-energy intensive processes have been identified. These processes not only facilitate hydrogen production but also contribute to partial wastewater remediation. Technologies such as photofermentation, dark fermentation, photocatalysis, microbial photoelectrochemical processes, and microbial electrolysis cells MEX, are critical in this regard. These technologies not only aid in hydrogen production but also reduce chemical oxygen demand COD, by at least 45%, making them suitable for integration into existing wastewater treatment plants. Key advancements in laboratory research have shown the potential for these technologies to contribute significantly to clean energy development. For instance, MEX have emerged as a promising technology due to their excellent system modularity, high hydrogen yield, and the ability to remove a substantial percentage of COD from influent streams. The integration of these technologies into wastewater treatment processes aligns with the goals of both water and energy sectors, emphasizing the need for a multidisciplinary approach to overcome current barriers to implementation. Several real-world projects have successfully demonstrated the use of treated wastewater in hydrogen production. For instance, Hazer Group in Australia has initiated a commercial demonstration project at the Water Corporation's Woodman Point Wastewater Treatment Plant in Western Australia. This project uses biogas produced during water treatment to produce hydrogen and graphite. The process involves a novel catalytic method that splits methane at high temperatures and pressures using an iron or catalyst. Additionally, Scottish Water in the UK is exploring the use of electrolysis to produce hydrogen and oxygen from its wastewater stream. These examples showcase innovative approaches to utilizing wastewater as a feedstock for green hydrogen production, contributing to a more sustainable and circular economy. In exploring the use of wastewater for hydrogen production, there are a couple of innovative projects that stand out. Hazer Group Project in Australia, located at the Water Corporation's Woodman Point Wastewater Treatment Plant in Western Australia, this project uses biogas from the wastewater treatment process to produce hydrogen and graphite. It utilizes a novel catalytic method, splitting methane with high pressure and temperature using an iron or catalyst. Scottish Water's Electrolysis Project In the UK, Scottish Water is exploring the possibility of using electrolysis to produce hydrogen and oxygen from wastewater. 
This project is part of their Scottish Water Horizons program and is being studied for its potential to reduce carbon emissions. These examples highlight the growing interest in leveraging wastewater treatment for sustainable hydrogen production, indicating a shift towards more environmentally friendly and resource efficient practices in the energy sector. Conclusion and Future Outlook In conclusion, the integration of desalination and wastewater treatment technologies in green hydrogen production is pivotal for addressing water efficiency challenges. These innovations not only provide sustainable water sources but also align with global environmental goals. The advancements in reverse osmosis, thermal desalination, and wastewater treatment technologies demonstrate a significant leap towards more sustainable hydrogen production practices. Looking forward, further developments in these technologies are expected to enhance water efficiency. The role of policy and regulation will be crucial in supporting sustainable water practices and encouraging the adoption of these technologies. Moreover, ongoing research and innovation promise to yield more efficient, cost-effective solutions, further cementing the role of green hydrogen in the energy transition. The broader implications for the hydrogen economy are substantial. As water-efficient hydrogen production scales up, it can significantly contribute to a resilient and sustainable energy future. The integration of these water management strategies into the broader hydrogen production framework will be key in realizing this vision. Thanks for tuning into the ReneEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoyed the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.